Hi y'all, tonight on Lily Sizzling we're going to be making fajitas and as you can see here I have a neat little bouquet here of radishes. These are the biggest radishes I've ever seen with a clove of garlic and garlic kind of grows on these neat stem like things like this and so does radishes. So we're going to be making some fajitas here as you can see already I've prepped our, uh, we have bell peppers, we have onions prepped, I have some tomatoes, some cilantro, some sour cream and some cheese prep to go into these things or and prep up the um, avocados, some garlic, and some radishes as well. So we're going to be making these fajitas, some beans, and uh, also we're going to be making a, some churros with ice cream and a cherry on top, and we're going to be making a special margarita, a cherry margarita that's going to go with us tonight. So we kind of got a cherry thing going on here. We've got cherry tomatoes, we got cherries for our uh, top of our churro ice cream, and we have some cherry margaritas coming up. So we're going to start here with some big chicken breasts. I'm going to set down my bouquet. We're going to get these big chicken breasts. We're going to start cooking these guys. We're going to season them up. And once these chicken breasts are done, we're going to slice them up. Get them nice and oiled up here into your skillet. And uh, we're going to season them up here. We have some chili powder. We'll put some chili powder. Paprika. Some red pepper, some black pepper, and a little pinch of seasoning salt with some cumin. There's our seasoning salt, and here is our cumin hiding behind sugar. Alrighty, so these guys are nice and seasoned up. This is basically um, what I call my fajita seasoning. Ah, no escapees of the chili powder. So this is my fajita seasoning and how I make it. We're going to get some, uh, some fresh garlic and uh, all the vegetables in here cooking. Once this chicken gets done, we got it kind of sliced up a little bit. And so we're going to let this start cooking here. I'm going to start, start about medium. Five, six, and uh, we're going to get our beans into our bowl. We're going to start uh, slowly warming these up over time, and uh, we're going to add some cilantro and some uh, lime juice in here once these are coming to. So I'm just going to cook my beans lightly on a low while this is uh, going on here. And then we're going to start getting uh, a little bit more of our vegetables ready for our fajitas, and we're going to start getting all of our lime juice and everything ready for our margaritas, and then we're going to start prepping our dough for our churros. So coming up next. So we got our chicken sizzling here, and I'm going to cut this uh, stem off here of this garlic. I'm going to kind of go right here where the top of the garlic is meeting the stem. Get that off there. And we're going to be able to get some, uh, get some cloves, fresh cloves of garlic right off of him. And he smells delicious. You can kind of see when you peel him back, you get these nice cloves of garlic. There we go. We've got fresh garlic, fresh from the farm. That was really neat finding that purchase. We went to a farmer's market and found beautiful garlic like that. And we're going to take about four cloves of garlic. We're going to be using for this. We're going to get that ready here in a few seconds. I'm going to get the tops of the radishes off here, and we're going to wash these guys off and chop them up. These guys will be going alongside of our fajitas. And uh, we're going to put these on a plate with some lime so you can put some radish or and lime on your fajitas if you wish with some little cherry tomatoes. Season it up. And you get all these nice beautiful leaves here. You can throw them away, compost them, do what you want with them. So I'm going to get rid of these leaves. So we're going to take and um, we're going to uh, wash this off, get it ready to go. We got our chicken and it's not a nice sizzle and as you can see right here I've got a can of fire roasted green chilies. We're going to be adding some of this into the bean. Get a big can if you can so you can reserve half of it for your fajitas. And you're going to want half of it with your beans and about half with your fajitas. Chicken there is seasoned on up and it's just sizzling away. We're going to start flipping that here soon and getting that ready to go. So vegetables let's finish that and let's start working next on our churros and all of our um, stuff for our margaritas while we're waiting for this to sizzle up look at that beautiful fresh garlic 
don't you dare escape me. Hiya! Hiya! Gotta do your, your, uh, hiya and all your vocalizations. Get mad at it. This thing's great. You just wipe off the bottom and get done. There we have it. Garlic is mashed and ready. Got all this nice garlic. And that can go right here on the side of that for a few minutes. We've got these nice big washed off radishes. Look at those guys. So I just kind of slice them up and you can get some beautiful radish to go into your, to go alongside of your fajitas or with your beans or whatever. The first day I brought it home, that big clove of stock of radish, so there's like a bunch of them in the stock. My mom was like, hey, Lily, can I eat a radish? She ate one of these, a whole radish. I, I can't believe someone could eat a whole radish like that. That's a lot of radish. I'm like, that's like usually like a, a whole bunch of radishes like from the store. It's just what you would find on one of these. I was like, dang. <laughs> You really like your radish. So we've got our radishes here. And uh, next year coming up, we're going to get all of our citrus ready to go for our margarita. Alrighty, folks, we got our chicken here. Our chicken's just about done. What we're going to do with our chicken is we're going to turn it off. We're going to get it up here onto the cutting board. We're going to start getting this chicken cut up here in a few seconds. We're going to let it cool. And we're going to use everything in this pan and just combine it here with our vegetables here in a few minutes. Our beans are coming up, and right now we're going to be working on our churro dough. So we're going to be taking about two cups of water here. We've got two cups of hot water. And we're going to boil that with a couple of uh, spoonfuls of sugar and oil and a little bit of salt. So because I'm making two batches of churros, we're going to add in two tablespoons of sugar. Normally you'd add in one tablespoon of sugar because if you add in too much sugar with that amount of flour, they will brown too quick in the fryer. Same thing with oil. So two tablespoons of oil for two batches. If you're doing one batch, it'd be one cup of water, uh, one tablespoon of sugar, and one tablespoon of oil. And then we're gonna get out a pinch here of sea salt that we're gonna add on to it, or just regular salt. I think that was sea salt. Get in there. A little bit of salt, rest over our shoulder. Good luck. All right, and so we have our flour here. Once this comes up to a boil, we're gonna put it into a bowl. We're gonna mix this two cups of flour. Then we're gonna start getting that stuff fried on up. Uh, in the meantime, while we're waiting on this to boil, we're going to take our chicken and we're gonna cut it up. I'm gonna get this in a little stir in here, stir the sugar. So let's get this chicken cut on up, let's get our vegetables back in here, and let's start working on our churros and all of our citrus for our margaritas. Margarita time! So we're going to have a lot of citrus here to make all these margaritas. Alright, coming up with you next. Chicken, vegetables, margaritas, and churros. So this is our chicken here. It's nice and tender. Look at that nice juicy chicken. We're just going to cut it up in a little bits here and put it back into our skillet. It's best if you can use a cast iron for fajitas. I don't know why, it just works better. Don't ask me. It just works. Some, something about it tastes better and it works better when you use cast iron for fajitas. They even do that at the restaurants. You bring out like little mini cast irons. Yeah, I know. Something about it just gets More the metal. chicken cooked really nice. Oh, that beautiful, juicy, juicy chicken breast. And this chicken, you don't have to worry about it not being done all the way because it's going to cook in here some more of the vegetables. I get it about three quarters of the way done. And then I start cooking it with vegetables. That and, the, uh, isn't that to keep the there. tenderized? What? To keep it kind of juicy? Yeah. I find it tastes better if you cook the rest of it with the vegetables. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'd have never thought of that. Yeah. So don't be eating off the cutting board. My yet, chicken always turns all out all the way done. chewy and crispy and crunchy. 
Yep. Tricky. All right, so here's some chicken here, and we're gonna start digging up over here. I should get my, I should get myself a spoon, or here, I'll just use my tongs. Use my tongs. Chicken back in the can. Can Whoa, that's in a sizzle-tastic sound. Yep. So I'm just gonna be cutting chicken up for fajitas here. And I'm gonna be squeezing a bunch of limes for margaritas. So basically this is gonna be what you're doing. Just like that. And just like that. And where's those green chinis? Put the knife down before it hurts them a little bit. <laughs> green chinis. And my favorite cilantro, bunch of cilantro. Okay, so we're gonna get all this chicken uh, put up in here, and then we're gonna start working here on our margaritas and our churros, which are over there, waiting to boil in the water so we can start getting our churro dough ready. All right, cut. Alrighty, folks, we have our fajitas over here, and they are looking nice. We're gonna get this start sizzling up again. And right now we're gonna be working on our margaritas. So you're gonna want to take almost a cup of tequila, make it a little bit shy of a cup, which is about six ounces instead of eight. You're not gonna do that and drop your tequila plug. Yeah, I know, I know. You're gonna take some agave, and you're gonna fill that up now. About a couple ounces of agave. I love this stuff. It's my new favorite, whatever. And a couple ounces of triple sec. And you're going to bring this right over the one mark on your measuring cup, just like that. And now the rest of this is going to be the juices of the citruses and cherry juice here. So we're going to add in some cherry juice for coloration until it gets to a nice red. And now we're going to take about two ounces of lime juice. I mean, you're going to be squeezing limes up to about one and a half cups here. Let's see where I'm at right now. I'm just right underneath one and a half. So now it's citrus time. So I'm going to do all these limes. Ah. Until my fingers burn. Stunt double. I know. The poor chef's allergic to fresh citrus on her fingers. I my nails into your stunt hands. Yeah, I know, right? Just get in there and get it done, Lily. The quicker we do it, the less will itch and burn so I can go wash my hands. Ah. Get mad at your lime. Squeeze it. Yeah, there you go. Help me squeeze them. Help me squeeze them, please. They make my hands itch. <laughs> I have allergies to like everything on the planet if it's fresh fruit or vegetable. Keep going, keep going. And we can stop about right here in a few seconds here. That's a lot of a lot of lime in there. That's a couple that's a ounces. Bit. Yeah, that's good. That's a couple limes. We're going to stop right there. I'm going to wash my hands and we're going to do our lemons and our oranges coming up. This is Rox Hart, the cameraman. Ignore this cut on his head. He works with this student who beats him up all the time. He beats up all the teachers. He got beat up by a student. <laughs> he was asking for it. I did not bring him back down to baseline. All right. It's all right. So we're going to take... A I'm the one drinking it, and I want every bit of this left over these little guys. So he's going to squeeze out some lemons here, slowly. slowly. Trying to not get the seeds out. I already plucked most of the seeds. Oh, well that's good. Last time, last time I made my margarita quite interesting. Yeah, you have to pluck out the seeds when you're doing the juice. He always says the juice when I have him do margaritas, so. Yeah. Probably see it wasn't too bad. He's learning, he's learning. I'm learning CPU. So 
So we're almost done here with this, and then we're going to get our oranges up. Yep, orange Orders time. Are really good. Basically, we're going to get some ice, and we're going to blend the ice and put this mixture over the top of the ice with a little margarita cup with the rim of salt around it, and that's going to happen right at the end. Man, I should get a grapefruit. A grapefruit, yeah. You would. I would. This looks like grapefruit juice to me. It makes me thirsty for it. That is margarita juice. It makes me thirstier for it. <laughs> it's like, that's not helping, Lily. I'm going to have you squeeze up some of these limes right here that I'm putting on this plate into my uh, fajitas over here in a second. There you go, citrus done. We are done with the citrus squeezing. It's about 13 ounces, 14 maybe? No, two cups. Well, I mean, our entire mixture. Yep. A little bit more cherry juice in there. And Want some zest? Nice coloration here. We're Alrighty folks, we're here and it's churro time. So we just citrus up all of our margarita mix. And now we're gonna take this mixture and put it into the churros. This is our water and sugar and all that good stuff there that was boiling. We are gonna stir this up. Do not use your hands, folks. It is gonna be hot. This is what makes your churro bread. So you just kind of stir it on up into a nice dough bowl here. It smells good too. It takes a few minutes to kind of knead it, knead it, knead it, knead it, knead it. If you have one of those handy dandy dough mixtures, go ahead and use it as you want. Ooh, hot, hot. Oh, hot there. Just told her not to use your hands, I know. I'm stupid. All right here, so we're gonna cool this off for a second. We're gonna roll it into a ball and we're gonna start getting it ready for our churros into our churro bag here. So we've got a churro bag here and we're gonna basically get it in here and we're gonna squeeze it back out. We have a confectioner's bag or a churro thing, you know, some people buy fancy things that are spe specifically designed for churros. I just use plastic and, and we get the job done. Mold your churro dough. When it comes out the nifty end here as you squeeze it. So we're going to start squeezing these churros out here onto this plate and getting ready to dip into the spice. Alright folks, so we have our churros here. You can take a look at them here and I put a little bit of extra flour there so you stick. Just stick them into your fryer only a couple at a time so that it doesn't hold the oil down too much. You can about three at a time. Let's get this nice big guy in there. They will float. They do take about a few minutes to cook. So as you can see right here, pretty we, much did a, done with we did a little test churro. A little baby test churro. Churro bowl. Yeah, a little churro bowl. Oh my god, genius idea. Churro balls. Okay, yeah, she knew this idea. So we're gonna get some cinnamon and sugar ready here in a few minutes, and our oh, I mean, is just about done. Look at this. Look at that, folks. This is done. A of stuff will feature churro balls. Churro balls. And churro balls. <laughs> work my hands off here. And I'm going to, uh, our beans are done too. They're, they're beautiful over here. So as we prepare to get everything done, I'm going to get some uh, sugar over here ready to go. I'm going to put a little churro basket over here. A few seconds. We're going to get some, well, those are cooking in there. Get some uh, sugar. Oh, a good cup or so. Uh, and some cinnamon. You don't want to stand here, you don't want to sprinkle it all day long, do you? So that's why I'm just going to take it right off and measure it out. Is it your official measuring cup? Yeah, official measuring cup. Did. If I don't put that back on, my mom's going to dump it all over the place. <laughs> so. 
don't let me forget. <laughs> I'm all for it. Oops. Yeah, she will. Wish the camera be rolling when that happens. There we go. And this is the little mixture here of what she wants. Mm -hmm. Cinnamon sugar mixture. Mm -hmm. What you're going to do here, and I'll sample it. Not floating yet. You're going to take your little churro ball. You're just going to roll it around in here. Preferably when it's hot, and you're going to split it in half with your cameraman. He's going to get the oh, shorter oh, half. Churro. And that, folks, is churro. Pretty easy to make. Very, very easy. All right, so all those are cooking. We got our tortillas up. And after our tortillas get up here, we're going to start working on our margarita, get our fajitas cleaned up, do our margarita ice for right after you don't want milk. Alrighty, more churros, more fajitas, more everything coming up next, almost done. Churro, churro party! Oh, you can eat churros! And you know your churros are done when they pull out. So we're going to stick them here for a few seconds, let them cool off. We're going to roll him in the cinnamon sugar mixture. Do you got any more floaters in there? Sure do. Okay. That guy's still kind of hanging out on the bottom there. There we go. Kind of dry them off from this oil. Cinnamon and sugar, then. There you go, two churros waiting for the bowl right there. So we're going to get some more churros up. They do look like poop when they come out. I mean, they're not. Pretty. Looks like little pieces of churro poop. Oh but That's trust me, they are good. Churro poop. <laughs> <laughs> I know Kaden would probably call them that. churro poop. <laughs> so we have some more. We're waiting for some floating churros and to cinnamon and sugar them up. And we're going to get our tortillas up next and our margaritas and finish these churros. And we're going to eat. We're going to plate it up. Cameraman is trying not to laugh either. He's having a giggle fit. Giggle fit, giggle fit, giggle fit. Okay, here is, we're gonna take and we're gonna put a bunch of, a uh, bunch of filling in it. Kinda just give you a good little demonstration right here. Filling full of uh, fajita, full of filling. And there we go, another fajita tortilla. He is done. some sour cream and we're going to add a little bit of cheese and we're going to add some cilantro and a couple little tomatoes and we're going to squeeze up a lime over the fajita like that and we can roll it or we can wrap it taco. I'm making my fajita tacos I'm just going to do that with them so I'm going to fill up these fajitas just the same Get our churros up, and we're going to get the uh, margaritas up, and we're going to plate this stuff on up, and we're going to get it all ready to go here. It's going to be beautiful. This is fajita one. Let's keep rolling this. Let's do it. We're here at the end. Let's get ready to eat. All right, folks, here is our beautiful plate of fajitas and avocados and everything over there. And here is our churros with some ice cream with some chocolate on it and some cherries and now we're gonna do margarita time margarita time every time is margarita time in my time yep what i'm gonna do is add some liquid in here about half this mixture and we are going to basically grate this stuff on up and pour the margarita in so here is our cherry margarita folks And what else wouldn't be better with the cherry right on top of there? And a little lime wedge we can take here. And get out a butter knife. Make a little wedge here on our lime. Just like that. And there we have it, folks. So we have here, this is a fantastic sizzle-tastic plate of churros. 
churros easy to meet and make a couple cups of water there with that sugar and the uh, oil and then you just uh, make the dough you put it inside a confectioner's bag squeeze it out it looks like little churro poops and then you fry it in a some deep fryer you put some uh, vanilla ice cream some cherries and chocolate uh, chocolate syrup there and you have your children eat it quickly because it is melting or you eat it quickly and then we have fajitas here and we did with our fajitas here is we took our uh, we took our chicken, we fried that up, then we put in all that uh, nice vegetables there, all the bell peppers, the onions, and we topped it off with cilantro, and uh, we had all those uh, tomatoes and sour cream and pepper jack cheese, and then we have our avocados, our beans here. We used the green chili in our beans and also our fajitas. I put a little bit of pepper jack cheese and a little uh, bit of cilantro here. Margaritas. Yeah, I need a sip after this. No. <laughs> Margaritas is about uh, six ounces of a uh, the uh, what's it called tequila six ounces of tequila two ounces triple sec and uh, about two ounces of agave and then about an ounce or two of cherry juice and then the rest uh, two ounces of lime uh, about a good ounce and a half of lemon and uh, I would say about a good ounce and a half two ounces of orange there and then we top that off with a nice fresh cherry and slice of lime. So I hope you like this sizzle-tastic. I need a third hand coming out of my chest to hold the margarita. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I hope you like this sizzle-tastic fajita flavor fiesta episode here of Lily Sizzling. Please come and watch us on sizzletastic.com, youtube.com backslash Lily Sizzling, facebook.com, uh, sizzletastic. If you can come like us on our page, that would be absolutely fantastical and sizzletastical. And yeah, he's going to want to drink that right away in Seattle Channel 77 and of course make it a sizzle-tastic day. Some of your thoughts, ideas, your suggestions, and bon appetit, y'all. See you soon.